full disclaimer, Argenti mains. I'm not saying that I think Luca is better than Argenti, okay? There's this concept on YouTube where you clickbait your viewers to click on your video so they can watch what you've prepared for them. You know, so it's kind of what I did there. So you stay over there with your budget Karama and I'll stay over here with my Giga Chad Luca Shorty Yukin, all right? <laughs> Damn, bro woke up with violence today. Fair enough. <laughs> well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, we'll be talking about Argenti. Or more specifically, why Argenti is the best air edition crack that we have at this time. Because I know I've been very critical about Argenti, saying that Argenti is a trap for free-to-play players, telling you to skip Argenti for Rusha May, which I do stand by. Especially if you're premium DPS like in Barb, Delaney, Jinglu, you don't really need Argenti. But one thing I always have said in all my Argenti videos, if you do decide to pull on Argenti, either because you need a DPS or you just like Argenti because he's your husband, you will have no regrets pulling Argenti. Because Argenti is actually very strong, and especially if you build a team around him, he can beat everything in the game, which is a W for the people that like Argenti and going for Argenti. That's a big up for them. But before I continue, if you can subscribe to the channel, it'll mean the world to me. And if we reach 1,000 subscribers on the channel, I'll make a Discord server. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Alright, about Argenti. I say a one why not I make a video talking nice about him for once? Because why not? Because I do think Argenti is a really strong DPS, but at the same time, with all the cracks that are coming out in the near future, I do recommend you skip him. But at the same time, if you do go for Argenti, Argenti is very strong, especially what he offers for AoE. Argenti has a lot of front loaded damage in his kit, which is very nice. Because front loaded damage is much better than having back loaded damage. Especially in a game like Honkai Star, you basically on a timer where you have to kill the boss and enemy as quick as you can. Having front loaded damage is very massive, especially for like speedrun scenarios and convenience as well. You much rather have front loaded damage than have back loaded damage in a character. So Argenti having front loaded damage is a big W and Argenti has a lot of stuff going for him as well because for one he's the best physical damage dealer in the game and by far the best air edition unit in the game. Sorry genuine I love you to death but at the same time Argenti is him. <laughs> and I won't go in any detail about who's better between Argenti and genuine because I made a whole ass who's better video about them so you can just go watch that. I'm not really gonna go repeat myself on this again. If you want to see that video is on a playlist on my channel so you can go through that and most likely i might put in the link in the description so yeah go watch that video sure i really work hard on that video but at the same time it's not exactly a tall tale either to be the best air edition character in the game <laughs> but in aoe situation i do think argenti can definitely compete with units like imbibe to me and jinglu because air edition unit can actually compete with destruction unit in aoe situations being comparable or outright better than destruction unit in aoe and that is 100 true but the thing is other than this MOC, all the other content heavily favors destruction units. And it's so hard to balance content for all the units in the game, but how imbalanced destruction is. So having Argenti being comparable to Jinglu and Imbarb to in AoE situation is actually kind of impressive. But in single target situation, eh. <laughs> Thank god it's an easy game. <laughs> like don't get me wrong, Argenti can definitely do well in single target situation, but not as well like the meta pick. But whenever the AoE content, Argenti will be on the top for sure. And even though he might not be the best in single target situation, he is very good in AoE situations. And I always say that if you go for Argenti, you will have no regrets for sure. But at the same time, it's very hard for me to recommend you pull on Argenti. Unless you need a DPS or you just like Argenti because of all the crafts that come out, you have a very broken craft that come out in 1.6. Legit units are just gonna be universally hyped to legit every single player. The thing about Argenti is the fact that he good but he not needed. Which is honestly a good thing. We don't need every single character to be legit broken and a must pull. Where you basically feel pressure to pull for Argenti because he's so broken. Because that means you don't need to pull but at the same time the people that are going for Argenti can definitely make him work and Argenti will feel strong for them. And the people that want Argenti and going for Argenti will feel happy that they have a strong unit on their account. Which is honestly a good thing. And I'm sure there's all the character for someone that you will like more than other people. They might not be the most meta character in the game, but at the same time, they're so strong enough to beat all the content in the game. And as long as you like the character and having fun with it, it doesn't matter if they're meta or not. And as long as you're having fun in this game, you're doing nothing wrong. You're doing everything correct. But at the same time, I do think Argenti is by far the best air edition character we have. So for all that going for Argenti, you are chilling for sure. And the fact that you also get in Hanya, a very crack force, that you are chilling for sure. And yeah, that's about it because with all I said, I think that everything I want to talk about for today's video. And with all I said, thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate you made it far. Let me know if you made it far and I'll hot your comment card. I appreciate your support to me. Let me know what I should do next and let me know what you guys think what I say. You agree with me? Disagree with me on this? Let me know down below. I'm not gonna kill you. 
Man, I probably might kill you, but still, comment and wait for other stuff. But anyway, final thoughts is about Argenti. The thing about Argenti is I think Argenti is a very strong game for sure. And if you're going for Argenti, you will not be disappointed. But at the same time, it's very hard for me to recommend Argenti. With all the upcoming units, it's kind of hard for me to recommend him to you. The only reason I would say go for Argenti is as I said before, unless you like him or you need a DPS, that's it. But at the end of the day, he's very strong, but at the same time, that legit every single DPS in the game. So <laughs> just do whatever the hell you you want and have no regrets and you're chilling for sure but with all that said take care love you guys and i'll see you on the next video goodbye